Black Swan. Based on the Swan Lake Ballet, this film retells the story of a princess who's turned into a swan by an evil sorcerer's curse. While none of these elements show up in a literal form, the 2010 edition modernizes the narrative and its subject matter by replacing the curse with a mental breakdown that results from her punishing training regimen and insidious instructor. David, can I ask you a question? Honestly, would you f*** that girl? No. No one would. Number seven, The Company of Wolves. Little Red Riding Hood is already bleak, but this adaptation is even grimmer due to its focus on the dark side of men. The tale is told to a young girl by her grandmother who warns of deceitful and dangerous werewolves that take on pleasing forms. Adding magical, psychological, and sexual touches, this variation on the story cautions against temptation and mirrors lessons we already know. <laughs> Number six, Splash. This is what happens when Hollywood shakes things up. You get The Little Mermaid in New York City. Behold the mermaid! <laughs> Splash turns a classic Hans Christian Andersen fairy tale into a cheesy 80s rom-com. <laughs> As you'd expect, this retelling focuses on the mermaid's search for love, but its literal fish-out-of-water premise brings the laughs as we follow the star on her trek through this strange new world on dry land. My name is... Hey, how about those Knicks? Number five, Freeway. Did you ever imagine Little Red Riding Hood as a twisted tale about a juvenile delinquent who flees her abusive parents to live with her grandmother and is then abducted by a sadistic serial killer pedophile who's posing as a therapist? Yeah, us either. And it's probably the last movie where you'd expect to see Reese Witherspoon and Kiefer Sutherland together. Did they really have to bring that bot program to love? Made obsolete by the return of his family's real child, David grabs his teddy bear conscience and goes in search of the blue fairy to help make him a real boy. Sound familiar? It's a loose adaptation of Pinocchio. And just like its source material, this is a dark and depressing tale complete with some serious moral questions. Hello, Teddy. Hello, David. <laughs> David, Teddy is a super toy, and I know you'll take good care of each other. I am not a toy. Number three, Shrek. This animated comedy classic dares to swap Prince Charming with a nasty ogre while also combining the fairy tales from our youth with pop culture references. Bachelorette number one is a mentally abused shut in from a kingdom far, far away. She likes sushi and hot tubbing anytime. Her hobbies include cooking and cleaning for her two evil sisters. Shrek has everything, from the gingerbread man to Peter Pan and the three little pigs. A fairy tale for a new generation, this flick is memorable for more than just its comedy, because it challenges accepted expectations and stereotypes. Plus, there's a talking donkey. You know what else everybody like? Parfait. Have you ever met a person, you say, hey, let's get some parfait, they say, hell no, I don't like no parfait. Parfaits are delicious. No! Number two, O Brother, Where Art Thou? It's Homer's Odyssey, the musical. This contemporary satire is a light-hearted take on the timeless story. It stars George Clooney as a prison escapee named Ulysses, who embarks on a bizarre journey in order to return home and reclaim his family. Who elected you leader of this outfit? Well, Pete, I figured it should be the one with the capacity for abstract thought, but if that ain't the consensus view, then hell, let's put her to a vote. Along the way, he encounters everything from sirens to a menacing cyclops. Sounds like a recipe for disaster, but somehow this translation is brilliant. Number one, The Matrix. Taking the top spot on our list is the iconic action movie where the hero decides to see just how deep the rabbit hole goes. Have you ever had a dream, Neo, that you were so sure was real? What if you were unable to wake from that dream? How would you know the difference between the dream world and the real world? 
Substituting Alice's dream for a computer world, The Matrix subtly incorporates other elements from Wonderland, ranging from checkerboard floors to the white rabbit to feline appearances that call everything into question. And like Lewis Carroll's original story, it forces the protagonist on an uncomfortable quest of self-discovery. Do you agree with our list? Which fairy tale or fantasy film adaptation